Okay, so we have a question here where we have to find out the net resistance between points A and B in such a manner that each resistance is 1 ohm and they are arranged in this manner as given in the diagram up to infinity. That means it's an infinite network. Now, let us assume, let the net resistance of this infinite network be R. Let us say that the net entire thing has been solved up to R. Then we pretty much know it's an infinite network, right? So what is the logic of infinity that if we even add something or subtract something from infinity, it does not make a difference. That means even if we add a single network. Now, if you understand this thing, this is and this one. So these are the terminal points. So this basically makes up one single network and then if you see that this entire network of three, re three resistances is getting continued on the entire mesh right so that means if i say that the entire network has been solved to r then even if i add one single network of these three resistances to r then it will not make a difference because i'm just adding one single network to infinity and obviously anything added to infinity will still add up to infinity that means what i can do is that I can redraw the circuit this way now. So let's say I have added this network of 1 ohm. Let's take the point B here of 1 ohm and then we just add this to R. So what is this R? We have solved this entire network thing and we have got R to this particular part. So we have solved the entire network from here till here and we have got the answer as R which is the net resistance and I have just added one more uh, single branch to it because it will not make a difference because it was an infinite network. Now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to solve this network. So you pretty much know that this is going to be the terminal point. So let's say the battery is this way. Then these two resistances will actually be in parallel to each other. So let's solve these things first of all. Right, so let us say that their equivalent comes out to be R dash. Then 1 upon R dash will be equal to what? 1 upon R dash will be equal to 1 upon 1 plus 1 upon R. That means R dash will come out to be what? R dash will come out to be R upon R plus 1. That is when you solve this parallel network of two resistances, R and 1. So this comes out to be R dash. That means now the entire circuit looks like this. It becomes 1 ohm. Uh, these two have been solved now. So these will be converted into r dash and then we have b as well which will actually be 1 ohm now if we solve it's a pretty simple series network right and obviously now we know that if we solve this entire network all over again it will still give you the net resistance equal to what r because it was still a part of this entire infinite loop that means 1 plus r dash plus 1 should again produce r that is what is the logic of this question that means 2 plus r dash now r dash was equal to what r upon r plus 1 r upon r plus 1 and this should be equal to r if you solve this thing it's a pretty simple part right so 2r plus 2 plus r should be equal to what r square plus r if you solve the basic lcm problem that means r square minus of 2r minus 2 should be equal to 0 we can solve it's a pretty simple quadratic equation right r actually comes out to be what 2 plus minus of root 12 upon 2 that means r comes out to be 1 plus minus of root 3 now we pretty much know that r should have two possible values one is 1 plus root 3 and 1 minus root 3 so if it is 1 plus root 3 that the entire network will come out to be what approximately 2.732 adding the value of root 3 but if you consider r equal to 1 minus root 3 that will give you a negative value it will give you a negative value which is not possible that means this value is not allowed and this becomes your correct answer the net resistance of this entire infinite loop is 1 plus of root 3. Do we all understand that thing? It's a pretty simple question.